Hi guys! So, it's Sparrow. I was watching YouTube and a lot of people were putting up back to school looks and I'm like, is it that time already? Like, dude, you guys, that sucks. Like, I graduated right before they decided to do the let's start early shit and I was like, ah, I'd be like, bye. Class of 2012, man, fuck that shit up. But anyway, back to school. I thought about doing, so I thought, let's do like a kind of talk through kind of getting ready, like if I was getting ready for school, it's like five or six o'clock right now, so no. So if I was getting ready for the first day of school, especially if I was going to like public school, you know, like the one you have to go to, definitely not gonna be doing like that full beat. Definitely just gonna keep it kind of simple because one, I always got up late, and two, the more made up you look, the more it invites people to talk to you about you instead of like just looking nice. So I kind of wanted to do something more simple. So first I'm gonna start with my Bosho White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. And yeah, I know it looks bust, it's like almost empty. But it's gonna keep me mad as fuck for the whole day. So quickly, just gonna douse my face in that. So basically I just wanted to keep the face really simple, but you guys know I have a dark under eye area. So I'm gonna put a little bit of my Lancome Tint Idol, the my PI foundation from Lancome, underneath my eyes just to make it look um, a little more even and less like, you know, Jesus has forsake me. Because even though you're going to school, like, yeah, you can sleep in school, we don't really know you to sleep all summer. So I'm just dotting it under the pinch and dots under my eye, and I'm gonna blend it over here because I did not bring extra brush. And honestly, this is also what you can make, you can do under school because you gotta be really fucking like, dude. Like, you gotta work on that. You can see how bright and clear my under eye is. Instead of really like dark, like it normally is, I'm just using some powdery motions just to get it nice and because you really want that face to be smooth. Then I'm going to take my shade light um, brush duo. I'm going to take the light side of it and dip it into this kind of pale shade in my, what's it called, into latest from my shade light eye palette. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and set my under eye with it instead of setting it with, um, so that way it's a little bit brighter. It's just a tip to use lighter powders to set your under eye makeup just to make sure that it's, it's like nice and brightening instead of, you know, boring. And yeah, I know it's, it's obviously too light, but it's just to make sure that it, the eye, under eye is super bright, right? So start with super bright under eye, and then we're going to move into actually powdering the face. And we're gonna use this powder to kind of use my base powder to blur out everything going on my face. So I'm gonna spot some dots in my discoloration, which is why I'm not color correcting, because my discoloration gives my face definition when I don't wear makeup, but I have to color correct away and then correct it with contour instead. So I'm gonna take my CoverGirl, what is this, Lasting Matte Pressed Powder in Q410 Golden, which you can see here is super fucking neat. And I'm gonna use this to powder my entire face. And like, seriously, like if you girls that go to school to slay, y'all, just get the, finish your shit and get out, dude. Like. Like, LAUSD, a lot of people keep reminding me, LAUSD, which is the Los Angeles Unified School District, is called a cesspit, and it's like a horrible place and everything because the schools are so bad. And I'm just sitting here like, I don't know, like, because kids aren't graduating, kids don't know better. But then, it's because instead of encouraging, we need to encourage, you know, y'all to get out, get in, get out, get on with your life, go to college, do all the stuff, you know, do your plans for the future, but for now, Get it done. Like, don't don't sit there and don't graduate, dude. Just graduate. Just get the fuck out. Do not. I gotta be. I gotta stop for a second for this one because this, this one pisses me off. Do not feel like you are trying to hurt. You don't hurt nobody but yourself by not graduating. There are some people who they felt like like in my year. I know my ex for sure. He felt like he was he was fighting the system or some shit to not graduate. We went to summer school together for like three years because I, I fucked up in a biology class that I had to take super late and I'm not good at math so I had to keep retaking my class. But he was like, I don't give a fuck. And I'm like, nah, nigga, you gotta graduate, you know? And he felt like he was, you know, he was hurting somebody by doing that. The only person he hurt was himself because he like, when it came time to graduate, they print everybody's names on the program in my school. They printed it. So even if you weren't graduating, you your name was on the program. So people were wondering, oh, oh, where is um where's Ari? Ari was supposed to graduate. That nigga wasn't graduating. And it's like, oh, where are they? They at the mall? Like, that shit's embarrassing because like your family. Really quick. I'm going bronze my face with my Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Sorry, I know, telling a story and doing two things at once. Um, they were like, he's at the mall. And like some people were like, oh, that's so cool, man. I wish I was at the mall. But in all honesty, that's just embarrassing because when you get outside to take that, those photos of people, I'm going to use this to kind of carve out my face, by the way. I'm just giving my face a little bit more definition, a little bit more of a slimmer look. They were like, like my mom and my uncle, they were all like, oh, where's Ari? Because he was my boyfriend. So they are like, oh, where is he? And I'm like... He didn't graduate, and they're like, he didn't graduate. 
My uncle already didn't like him. Don't give a nigga another reason not to like it. Another reason not to like it is that that nigga didn't graduate. How dare he not graduate? Shit. Like, shit. It was embarrassing. It's embarrassing. The only person you hurt by not graduating high school is your damn self. And if your parents are embarrassed, your family's embarrassed, your girlfriend's embarrassed, your boyfriend's embarrassed, everybody's embarrassed by you because you couldn't do that simple ass thing. They forced your ass to get all the way there. Finish the fucking job. Don't do that shit. That was embarrassing. That was fucking embarrassing. I'm going to go ahead and blush up with the Black Radiance. Um, Artisan Color Baked Blush in Toasted Almond. It's a staple on our brown beauty. It's also really, really pretty. I'm gonna just use this brush since I already have it with me. But, I don't have a mirror on this. That was just the embarrassing shit. Finish your shit, people. Finish it. Like, don't sit there and feel like you... Who, who, the only person you hurt when you do shit like that is your damn self. That was embar that was like the most embarrassing part. Like, like you sitting there like, oh you didn't like you like you better than everybody else because you don't do your shit. Now I get it if you feel like that, like you wanna feel like that because oh you didn't go to prom, you didn't go to the senior picnic and shit. But seriously, like you just look stupid. You look stupid, you're embarrassing because like then your girlfriend went to prom by herself, right? you like you don't have to go to prom and senior picnic and all the other senior shit, but you need to graduate so that you can go to the graduation parties without feeling like a fucking failure. You go to the, um, you get to go to dinner with your family. You get to have see your parents proud of you because I couldn't see my family when I walked to our graduation stage. But the people who were cheering, that's because they gave a, they said, this bitch got across this stage. This bitch made it because niggas didn't make it. Cause it's like, you know, your parents at home pissed as fuck cause they ain't get to go, cause they ain't get to go cause your ass didn't you don't go, graduate, fuck. That's the shit that pisses me off, I'm sorry. It's literally the thing that pisses me off. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight with this ABH Riviera, the Illuminator. I'm gonna use this fa fancy fan brush that I have. Um, I, I like it sometimes. You really don't need to be glowing, but I just wanted to put on a highlighter. Cause otherwise this look I'll look really boring without anything but it you don't need to really be glowing and I'm starting to sweat so I might be a little glowing on accident but seriously like that was just one of those things I know y'all want to get like some people they they're like oh I'm not gonna do this and they'll get back in my teacher fuck them that nigga's still gonna be there you don't change nothing they just remember you as the nigga that fucked up the nigga that didn't make it the nigga that didn't graduate they at because they still gonna be there because they get paid they went to school they did they shit they did they do now they're doing what they want to do and your ass in there like i'm gonna get back at this person don't get back don't hurt yourself to get back at somebody else that's a fucking life lesson right there don't hurt you to get back at somebody else i'm going to take this essence eyebrow designer pencil in 202 brown and give my brows some tails because i ain't got none right now because i'm a hoe with no eyebrows today apparently once I put on makeup, like, I, my eyebrows kind of disappear, so I have to do this. I don't know, like, school, like, I thought high school sucked. I thought a lot of things about high school sucked. But I do know that I would have probably died if I hadn't graduated when I, on time. I would have been murdered by my family for not graduating high school. So, I considered this. I didn't know where I, I don't know what I want to do. I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life. I, you know, I wasn't sure about a lot of things, but I was sure of one simple thing. I didn't want to die. I didn't want to be known in my family as the dumbass who didn't graduate high school. And I definitely didn't want to be known as the one who was too damn stubborn to just finish fucking high school. Everybody else graduated on time. Nobody's stupid in my family. The fuck was wrong with me? You know, I just, I feel like finding your thing, like during high school, I found I was really good in English, right? So instead of sitting around like, oh, school, I decided, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to take the English class 
I'm gonna take the higher level English classes since I like English and I like reading anyway. So I took that. Took the AP exam for it, so that's the advanced placement exam. Those give you college credit in high school. And when I got into college, I didn't have to take um, I didn't have to take level one English, or which at my school is just called English 101. Do you know how good that feels when you just like, oh, you don't have to take this class? Shit, yes! So if you know you like a subject, like you're good in math, or you're good in English, or you like science, or you like history, whatever fucking subject you like, if there's an AP for it, take that shit and keep taking those APs. The only thing is that with English, at least in LA, um, AP, the second AP English is exact worth the exact same credit as the first one, so both are worth for English 101. So you might not want to take it if you don't feel like it's worth it. And I regret not, but I still regret not taking it because being in a regular English class after being in the AP, where AP, AP is so much different because everyone gives a fuck. So if you like a subject, you want to be in a class where everyone gives a fuck and actually understands what's going on versus not giving a fuck and just sitting around. So now I'm going to set, quickly set my brows with my number seven lash and brow perfector. Mine's it's cloudy because I've had it forever and I use it. It's gross kind of, but I use it to set my eyebrows. But seriously, like finding stuff, you don't, like they say do clubs because clubs, you need clubs in college. Eh, I don't know about all that now. Honestly, in college I did, well, but I didn't go to a fancy university or anything. If you're going to like a fancy university and you want them to accept you, and it's like super competitive, yeah, clubs. You can't find a club that you like, start it. No joke, guys. My tail fucking, I don't know when this tail disappeared, but it disappeared, so. How did that go? Come back here. But, shit. Oh, no, I got this. Hold on. <laughs> but yeah, alright, so. <laughs> Whew, it's hot in the bathroom. So, I have like, you see how it's like really natural looking, right? You feel like your blush contour highlight just is too much, just go over it with your setting powder brush to get it some more, you know, naturalness. Um, you, if you want like a light natural look to your face, but let's, so let's pop on some mascara and some lips and get, and get going. Like, cause you know, you're supposed to be getting ready for school, but I'm telling stories and shit. My favorite class actually in college was my AP English class. But you find teach, you know, pay attention, talk to upperclassmen, make friends with some upperclassmen. I'm using a non-dramatic mascara. I'm using my CoverGirl Profe Professional Remarkable Mascara because it also removes the water. I don't know if you cry, if you cry a lot, don't wear this, but I'm gonna wear this today because it's also easy to remove and I love mascara that comes off. But my favorite classes were that one. I had to find the really great math teachers. There's some that, you know, they can't, they don't, it seems, it feels like they don't care. And some of them, if your worst subject, find the best teachers, try the best teachers. If you feel like that teacher's not working out or you feel like you're having a hard time, talk to that teacher, say, hey, I don't know if you, like the way, the lesson plan you have, like the way you teach it, I'm not getting it and I'm really bad. Like I know in middle school, I actually got bumped down in math classes because I was just so bad. Like the teacher was like, are you just not getting it? And I'm like, no, I'm not actually. You're doing the homework? I try, it's really hard. And as a child, my uncle tried to teach me, you know, was my math tutor. He's like, seven, he's seven years older than me. So, no, he's 14 years older than me. So he's like, he's trying to teach me. So he just imagine this angry black man sitting there like, mm doing the problem and I'm like but I don't understand it and then he starts laughing I start laughing it's a bunch of nervous ass laughter and then he starts yelling again I my, my subject was English sometimes science never history and definitely not math for my lips for lips especially in school since you shouldn't be wearing a bunch of bright not like you shouldn't be wearing a bunch of bright lipsticks because you look like a hooker but wearing a bunch of bright lipsticks you talk a lot during school, you're gonna eat, you probably snack during class if you're really hungry. It's easier to have like a kind of nude lip kind of thing going on so that your lipstick or some lip balm or lip gloss. I don't have any lip gloss right now, so instead, I'm gonna take the Essence Lip Liner in 05 Soft Berry and I'm gonna top it with the Maybelline Color Sensational Matte Lipstick in Clay Crush. 
and I'm just gonna give myself like a nice matte nude lip to keep my face really fresh looking but also like really you know pretty like I'm trying but I'm not trying and I have a layer of lip balm on but I'm gonna keep it because I want the products to spread easily. This is a really natural looking lip liner, it's almost insane. It looks, it's supposed to be like a dupe for that purpley Lolita. So I was like, oh, I need that color. The only thing is because even though it's stupid cheap, it's also really easy to break. The fine classes you like, like once you're in college, you'll like college, if you hate high school, like if you're already in high school and you hate high school, you'll like college better. It's more opportunities to make friends, can take classes you're actually interested in. No, there's like a bunch of opportunities for you, especially if you feel like you don't fit in with your high school level peers. And that's, that happens, it's normal, I promise. And now we're just gonna top it with the Clay Crush, which I use this lipstick a lot just to lighten. Like my, if I have like liquid and matte on and it wore off, also using um, one of these kind of lipsticks over it, over it, it lightens it, but it also covers up, you know, those E lines. If you feel like it's still, if you feel like it's still too light after you've applied it, then you can go in back in with the lip pencil or something. I could also use the brown lip pencil with this, but I felt like keeping it kind of light and sweet looking is better. Definitely this I would wear, if I was like going to school tomorrow, I would wear, I could do this in the morning and I could do it much faster if I wasn't talking to you guys. But yeah, this is like super soft and super like light and pretty without being like super in your face. I'm wearing makeup. Um, I'd actually leave my hair like this, especially since college. I don't know really give a fuck. If you like this video, you should leave a comment or a like or tell me another look you want to do, especially if you pick one that I've already done on my Instagram. Like I'm trying to figure out what I did with my beauty eyeshadow from Looksee because I would do that blue look that I did that I was trying to emulate Jackie Ina and I think it was gorgeous as fuck. I can't find it. But um, you can leave a comment or a like. I love those. I replied to all of them. There's not literally enough of them. I have way too much fun. Um, but yeah, if you're going back to school, have so much fun. Make friends. If you can't make friends, make friends on the internet. Just don't meet them and don't tell them where you live. Um, you know, I'll be your friend on the internet. <laughs> just, you know, enjoy your, like, you don't, high school's not gonna be the best of your life. Your 20s are the best of your life because then you have freedom. Don't let anyone sell you on the high school list forever crap. You can move away and get all the fuck with your life. I'm in the same city and I still see other things. Enjoy, you know, enjoy high school. Enjoy your first days of school. Get to know everybody. Don't make any enemies. If you do, you know, tell a counselor. Um, if you really like my video, you can go ahead and subscribe below or there's like an icon in one of these corners over here. But I have fun. I hope you guys have fun. Okay, I love you. Bye. 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 Bye.